and greetings and shalom. Welcome to Empowerment Faith Kingdom Center for Ambassadors. I'm Dr. Larry, Senior Pastor. And I am Dr. Renee, and we are excited to be able to join you on today. For those of you who've been watching, you know what to do. Remember, we want you to share this and also click on that upper, the bell in the upper right hand corner so that every time we go on, you'll be notified. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that as well. Okay, and this is my lovely wife, Dr. Renee. She also uh, uh, serves as assistant pastor uh, with the ministry, and we appreciate the, the tenure, or however you want to put it, the time that she has been yeah. assisting us and doing a, a, a great job at doing it. We appreciate that so much. So I want to get into uh, uh, family teaching. Family is designed by Elohim. Family designed by Elohim. Definitely want to look into this. As Dr. Renee was saying, you go on our YouTube channel, you will find a lot of family teaching. Fight for the Family series, uh, Fathers, the Foundation of Fathers, uh, the Role of the Man, the Role of the Woman. You'll get a lot out of there, and mm -hmm. it'll really help you out uh, looking at the uh, precepts of the Father, what he had in mind when he designed the family. So we're going to uh, get right into it and um, go right to our notes and get into this teaching uh, we must seek the heart of Elohim concerning the family and recognize why the families are in the condition that they are in. Very important. If you want to know something about a product, you go back to the manufacturer. That's right. That's right. And mm -hmm. that's um, it's important to know that because basically people are doing whatever they want to do when they want to do it as if they created themselves. Right. And so we have to make sure that we understand what am I supposed to be doing? Why am I here? What is the role of the family? Who am I supposed to pattern after? Otherwise, we're going to continually be in this uh, predict predicament that we're in right now. Right. And so, you know, just recently, and we'll mention this, uh, just as an example, uh, we firmly believe that you combat error with truth. We that's don't right. debate. We don't throw out at no one. But one example I want to use this, I know that many citizens of the kingdom who are not knowledgeable of the laws of the kingdom mm -hmm. will pattern their marriages after celebrities. Oh, yeah. Just like recently, uh, this young lady and this pastor got married, you know, and I, I said that when they did, it wasn't going to work. Yeah. Uh, but the, and soon they got married, they was all over the country doing uh, broadcasts and uh, uh, uh however you want to put it, giving yeah. people advice on marriage and this, right. that, and the other. How can you give advice mm -hmm. when you have not even gone through anything to know what to talk about and mm -hmm. what are you patterning it after? So, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why it's so important. We got to seek the father, not celebrities or not even people that were virgins when they got married. That doesn't mean that they possess knowledge of the precepts of marriage, pre beginning thoughts, that the father had relative to the marriage relationship. Right. See, a lot of things going on, and we need to just bring these things back in. Just like if I if I buy, you know, we got these uh, notebooks here, these uh, computers here, mm -hmm. and they come with a manual. Right. And if we want to know something about the computer, I don't go to a mechanic shop and try to find out how what was the manufacturer, what did he have in mind when he, when they manufactured this 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 particular product. I go back to the manufacturer of it. Right. So relative to marriage, instead of doing all of this stuff that's going on, kingdom citizens, mm -hmm. seek the heart of Elohim, not people, especially who are using their platform to get followers or uh, get more uh, publicity. Yeah. And, you know, just got into the thing. You got people been married six and seven years. You never saw on TV. Never ever saw on TV. Right. You know, but as soon as, you know, something like that happened. And uh, again, even citizens of the kingdom are falling into that trap. And you got young couples who haven't, uh, it's not the point about the the t the amount of years as mm -hmm. much as it is the knowledge yeah. of going into. And many get married and don't know what the marriage covenant is all about based on the word. Right, yes. Right, yes. so we're we seeing a lot of this stuff. And it's, it's I mean, you get... It's just a lot. So we're going to get the truth in here so you'll know where to, what source to cut off and uh, who to stop listening to who don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and I'm bashing nobody, but this thing is serious. And it's too much error being, because somebody want to be popular 
So they get their little show going and get on uh, social media and begin to talk about something not based on the word. Yeah. Not yeah. based on no, no precepts of the kingdom in there at all. Yes. When I, when I, when you talk about that, it, immediately I think about how the word is for us so that we can have a, a form of protection. Also, mm -hmm. it tells us that we should not be equally yoked. First unequal. of all, I mean, unequal, <laughs> unequal. Right. Yeah. You better be equal. Right. <laughs> should not be unequally yoked. And there are reasons for that. Right. But don't want to get ahead, but we definitely want to go ahead and, um, and that's very important. Yeah. Cause I mean, I think, um, that's, relative to your uh their belief system mm -hmm. you know some believe that you yes. uh, you know okay here is one label of cultural christians who mix culture of the the secular culture of the world with the culture of the kingdom which you cannot do you can never mix it but it's still in the mindset that i can do this and do that mm -hmm. and do these things on earth when i'm knowing it's not being done in heaven but i still do it right you know the culture behavior patterns dress fashion music all of these things you got cultural christians uh are fine with that mm -hmm. but those are, are not what we call a person who is knowledgeable in terms of elohim's design and being a citizen of the kingdom and obeying his laws and not the laws of the culture and having no mixture. That's right. So that's very popular. Cultural Christians are very popular because yes. actually you can have heaven and hell at the same time, but the end results is not going to be heaven. I'm sorry. You know, I hate to tell you that, mm -hmm. but then I'm glad to say that because so many people are being deceived now. Right. So many people being deceived. So we got to seek the heart of the father, the designer of the family and the marriage relationship. And we, we got some scriptures here. And I want to hit this right where I'm at it. There is nothing ever wrong with the marriage covenant. That's right. It's perfect. Absolutely. So you have two people who are trying to come together. Mm -hmm. And many times we will blame, well, I just don't believe in marriage. No, the father, he ordained marriage. He, mm -hmm. Marriage is honorable according to his word. Right. So when the two people, when they come together, Mm -hmm. Many times we come together mm -hmm. and we don't know what to do, but we've said I do to something that we don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So we have to go back to what we were just saying about the precepts of the word so that we'll know how the ma the marriage is supposed to unfold. So because if, if something was wrong with marriage, then something wrong with the father. Yeah. Because he, he created this. He designed it. There's nothing wrong with what he designed. Mm -hmm. It's totally perfect. It's the people in the relationship right. in the covenant agreement of marriage. And if mm -hmm. the people don't have knowledge of the covenant, then the people are going to have problems in the relationship. Yes. So let's just, there are no bad marriages. There are no uh, broken marriages. There are broken people that's in a covenant relationship uh, that's messing things up. Mm -hmm. So uh, now to heal them, I uh, want to get this uh, to heal them 11 and, and uh, I'll take a come to me 11 and three. I already got it up. And I'm showing the uh, original language also. Uh, and the scripture um, says that if the foundations are destroyed, mm -hmm. what can the righteous do? All right. Now, many times, you know, we look at different things relative to foundation. But if we actually um, get knowledge of who and what is the living foundation or the first one the father established on the earth is family. Yes. And we get into the word for family. We're going to prove that out. Uh, fathers are foundations. Source. Mm -hmm. Adam, uh, the male man is the source of all uh, human beings. Mm -hmm. That means that the male man is the source. Right. So really you can say if the father's source would come from him, family are destroyed. What can the righteous do? Now, uh, uh, come back to me and we're going to, I want to show you something in his original Hebrew language here. I guess he was on. Okay. So let's look at this again and just let me know when you got me again on this particular uh, scripture. If the foundations are destroyed, you got me? Yes. Now look at that word foundation, uh, Shathal, Sharath. Is that S-H-A-T-H-O? Let me see how to pronounce that. Uh, yeah. Shathaya. Shathaya. Three Hebrew letter words. Now, I want to show you this. You all really need to get this study guide. Get this study guide and we give you, it's not a Bible we're teaching from. It's the Hebrew letter word that we're mm -hmm. teaching from. And Yeshua said, I am those Hebrew letter words. So right. we're teaching straight from Yeshua himself. Mm -hmm. All right. Get this uh, keys of revelation and you'll be able to do the same thing. 
now we get we have Shen Yu Ta. Right. Shen Yu Ta. Shatal. 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 Shen Yu Ta. And so foundations is is clear. And in this instance, Shen is making reference to the father who is a provider of peace, mm -hmm. protection, and provision. The father himself, creator, uh, the mighty guardian of Yisrael and of the holy nation in the earth. Uh, he provide peace. He provide uh, protection. He provide provision. So, mm -hmm. and then you is the ability or power. And then we have Tav, of course, talking about covenant. And we just mentioned a marriage covenant relationship. So the scripture is telling us if the covenant, if the covenant of power that the father uh, provided and within that covenant, there's peace, protection and provision is destroyed. And, and the, I'm going to look at the word for uh, destroyed also. It's uh, beaten down or torn down. Then what can the righteous do? You mm -hmm. see the Hebrew word, your heart song, uh, right next to it. And it's spelled uh, high resh. Uh, what is that? A, a closed me? No, that's that's a summit. It's a summit. A summit. Mm -hmm. uh, so anytime high is at the beginning of a word, it means what's, it, it means the revelation of heaven. We know the core meaning on earth. But if it's on the beginning, it, it, it has to do with what's running through. If it's on the end, it's what's coming from. So it destroyed, is, and you got that rest, which is the ruler or mm -hmm. prince. And then the summit means support. Yes. It, it means a uh, support system that uh, change a permanent turn something. Right. To slowly twist. Right. Or to turn. Yes. To turn it. And it's a slow turn, though. Yeah. But it's, it's a permanent. Mm -hmm. All right, so this destroy this destruction is taking place not all like that. It's been going on for ages. Mm, yes. Been going on for ages, and it's it's running through. Uh, the uh, uh, rest mean ruler or prince. Uh, what's in the mind, the agenda, the will of the ruler or prince? So it's telling us that when structure takes place, the uh, original purpose agenda of the chief ruler who is. The father, mm -hmm. we are delegated in the earth. You know what is running through there, and is is designed is to slowly turn it away from what the uh, father designed, right. away from his original thought, his plan, away from his original uh, thought and his plan relative to the foundation of fathers and family in the earth. If that take place and it have taken place, and we're gonna get into mm -hmm. it, then what can the righteous do? Right. What can the righteous do? So the what the enemy is doing, he's attacking the family, getting the mm -hmm. male seed out of position. Right. And then also matzah izanige, which is the Hebrew um, isha mm -hmm. uh, for the woman mm -hmm. who is created to be the support system, mm -hmm. getting her out of place, thinking that she's supposed to run in front of and, and we'll get into it later about the masculine female. Mm -hmm. All of that, that is not the plan of Emi, uh, the plan of Elohim, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So the enemy wants to um, distort the vision, get the male seed, the, the man with vision out of place mm -hmm. so that he can destroy this foundation that has been established. Right. He's twisting it. He's turning it. He working on, like you, you got the uh, different, uh, people have their agendas, what they want to accomplish, and they work at doing it. Right. And now we have, and this is just introduction, we have a redef, not in the kingdom now. Exactly. Not yeah. where the father dominion is being submitted to and his will and his plans are being carried out. That's what the kingdom, what the father owns uh, relative to the citizens of the kingdom of heaven who have been impacted by his will, his, his agenda, his desire in the earth. Uh, other than outside of that, then there is a redefinition of family. The father didn't redefine anything. Mm -hmm. There's a redefinition of the start of with the man, the father source. There re, there's a redefinition relative to Isha, the woman. Masa Izanigad was a name in, in the beginning. There's a redefinition of uh, the children. There's a redefinition mm -hmm. of teenagers, of boys, of girls. There's a redefinition of the family. And this redefining has everything to do with breaking away or turning. It's been turning yep. the purpose and agenda and the will of the the first rule, Prince Resh, mm -hmm. that regulates 
of family, the first laws that applicable to family, turning those away. And as it turn them away, then the foundation is messed up. And if you mess the foundation up, everything you build after that is totally in shambles and chaos. Right. So that's, that's how important it is for us to understand uh, that the kingdom of heaven on earth is the impact of the kingdom of heaven and the hearts of the citizen mm -hmm. of the kingdom in that lifestyle in the earth. A lot of people saying, well, you know, we've been translating to the kingdom, but you still at the club and listen to all this crazy music and saying you save at the same time. Yes. That is not the king. If it's not in heaven, if it's not from the kingdom of heaven being lived out through my life, that is not the kingdom of Yah. Mm -hmm. It don't work like that. Yeah. All right. So um, all of that redefining, all that stuff is taking place in the secular government. Yeshua said in Matthew uh, 4, 17, change the way you think because another the kingdom, another yes, government is here. Yes, that's what I was just, that's mm -hmm. what was stirring on the inside of mm -hmm. me. We have to change the way that we think mm -hmm. because we were born into this thing. Some mm -hmm. of us, we were born into religion thinking that it's acceptable to the Father when he wants us to be conformed to his word. Mm -hmm. And so many times uh, we think that we're supposed to make heaven, I mean, make earth conform to heaven, <laughs> but heaven is already, I mean, it, his word is already settled. His mm -hmm. word is established and he is not going to change. So right. either we need to get with the program and say, and we, because we say that we are believers, we say that we are kingdom ambassadors, mm -hmm. ambassadors, yet, we live with a democratic mindset thinking that I can do whatever I want to do. Right. That's that's the government I've, of the I've world. I've got to change the way that I think. That's the government of the world. Right. Right. You keep going, that's the government of the world. You got the, the kingdom government and you got the government of the world. The government of the world has re they stated what they want family to be. There's something that I, I always say, my mm -hmm. vote does not matter when it comes to the kingdom because mm -hmm. we've been taught that, well, if you don't like it, just vote it change it i mean no wait the, the, i need to change <laughs> i need to come under the order of alignment of what has already been established in the kingdom in the of kingdom heaven, yes on this earth as we do it on earth that's right so you can't mix the governments yes his kingdom law has already been established right so, so i know i know people really have a problem with it i said stop praying that the father would do this and do that in his government it's not his government Yeshua made that clear to Pilate. That's right. He said, my 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 government my is not of this world system. I mean, what you talking about, man? We can't mix this thing. And I did it ignorantly because I was taught wrong. Mm -hmm. Now I see clearly that there's a clear separation between the government, yes. the secular government of the worldly system, which is demonic, and the kingdom government of light. That's why he said you got to change the way you think. Yes. And you can't merge them, uh, cultural Christians. You can't merge it. And mix them. You can't mix the sac secular with the sacred. Mm -hmm. So we got to make a clear distinction here. So that's what we make a reference to. Yes. That this message is for citizens of the kingdom mm -hmm. and those who have been deceived by listening to wrong doctrine. Yes. Which determines. Go ahead. Go ahead. Character. Our be yeah. Our character, behavior, and destiny. Right. In order for us to get something different. In order for us to get something different, we have to go back to what has already been established in the word because um, Christianity or religion will teach you, well, if you don't, uh, I don't know, well, just trust them, just go on and do it. Mm -hmm. No, wait, it's already been said. Right. I need to go back. Okay, what does the word say in, I mean, what does the word say about this particular situation? I don't mm -hmm. have to make it up. I don't have to change the rules as I go. There I are no gray to, areas. Right. There are no gray areas. There are no gray areas. And again, you trying to get me stirred up or something. <laughs> I would need to be stirred up because, you know, <laughs> um, this, 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 it's very important because many people think that love is the key to a successful marriage relationship. If that was the key, mm. then when a person get born again and begin to walk in love, they would be successful. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that. He, he never, he never told, uh, we don't have it written, at least, we don't have the decrees of the kingdom that the father said, okay, Adam, now I want you to love Masa Izaniged and y'all marriage relationship be successful. Masa Izaniged, I want you to love Adam. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't say any of that. All that came in uh, later on when man had to be go through the process of have his mind renewed. Can I, can I interject this? Yeah, interject plenty. There are people who are divorced who still love each other. 
Right. So love could not be the key. That's love correct. could not be the answer. Right. So what's the answer? And they 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 can love each other, but they can't stand each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's knowledge. Oh, yeah. Knowledge. That's why it's so important to us. And we say right. this all the time. If we need to get the precepts, and when we get the precepts, they become concepts, mm -hmm. our conviction, our belief system. It, we need to have that to be effective in, in studying the scripture. You can study scripture, have all these books. We, I listen to a lot, not a lot anymore, but I hear different <laughs> things, and they have nothing to do with the original thoughts and ideas of the Father, mm -hmm. nothing at all. So there are a lot of misinterpretations. Trans, even the, the Bible trans is yes. a book of books that can contain misinterpretations interpretations, wrong interpretation, transliteration, which is not even a meaning. And I watch, I, I hear someone quoting from a transliteration, don't even know that word does even mean what the Holy Spirit said and don't even know that there are English words that are here that can't explain the Hebrew. And there are Hebrew words that were left out because they couldn't find the English words to give a definition. And you know why they were doing that? Because of indoctrination. Right. Indoctrination in that okay, this is what I was taught, so I'm just going to repeat what I was taught, and I'm not even going to search it out. I'm not right. even going to check it out to see. I'll even go further than that. Yes. The translations, uh, they were influenced by Greek philosophy. Oh, yeah. And culture. Definitely. So the, when, the, when the script was translated, the perception there is to uh, uh, promote that culture and the religion that the Roman government formed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we not, let's not go. We'll we'll do it. Deal with that later, but because yes. people, I mean, I was like that too. I thought the book was hundred percent truth, and it's not. Mm -hmm. You know, because you got transliterations, which is a lie. You got things left out, which is, and then we come to marriages, the marriage relationship, not having knowledge of the covenant mm -hmm. of the covenant. Okay, so uh, to heal them, let's move. Let's try to move a little further. And Nehemiah, uh, we'll find in one, and you all can go back and read it one through eleven. Uh, Nehemiah heard that the walls of the temple had been torn down. Mm -hmm. He got word of it and he was in his place for a purpose. He had favor uh, with King, uh, uh, how you say it? The King, oh, King I, of Persia. Yeah, I can't. I it's Thal with an X. Thal with an X. But anyway, or something. yeah, accessories, something like that. But anyway, he had, and the father, it wasn't, he, who wasn't, his purpose was not to bring wine to the king. His purpose was to be an instrument who would uh, restore the walls of Jerusalem, the temple in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So when he heard about it, first thing he did, he didn't go to somebody uh, who had knowledge of construction, how to rebuild walls. <laughs> you know, he didn't uh, go to the king. Mm -hmm. He went to the father and he, he began to seek the heart of, of the father. Yes. And the father put in him what to do and revealed his purpose. And when he went to the king, the same the same one who was in allies with the people who tore it down, went to the king. The king not only approved him going, but gave him the resources right. to do it with. That's right. That's right. But the walls were torn down. And see, that's what's happening. The enemy mm. have been coming through doctrine uh, and celebrity and influence, uh, demonic influence, and actually changing the heart and the mindset of citizens of the kingdom through ignorance relative to what family is because mm -hmm. family uh is is based on the covenant marriage relationship I, I haven't figured out why a person would want to imitate a celebrity anyway i haven't figured it out mm -hmm. i'm thinking it's witchcraft right and i i mean that's that's like having an idol why why are Idolatry. they the pattern why is that the standard who right. said that what are they no yeah, in the script talk about idolatry it's witchcraft yeah it is <laughs> Idol, idolatry is the foundation of the marketing industry of capitalism in America. Mm -hmm. You take a rapper, now rappers have more influence over people than, uh, they've been past the church and all of that. Yeah. They've been past, that's been long, that race been lost years ago. But they have more influence now than a lot of the uh, actors. Mm -hmm. They have more influence. And, you know, even in Memphis, when a, a young and rappers, about 200 been murdered this year, by the way. But one uh, was murdered in, in Memphis, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, uh, even though the music is trash, the words, is, they, they are trash. They tear down community, call later bees, glorify uh, money. And uh, these, uh, um, which uh, the Gucci and the 
you know, all the, the bling bling and the yeah, stuff. Yeah, Louis Vuitton and all, and that, all stuff. that stuff. And making these guys who own these companies billionaires and mm -hmm. breaking, bringing destruction in their own communities, and they want to name streets after them. Right. And there are pastors who are promoting this. Right. I have a problem with this. Mm -hmm. This music that's trash, mm -hmm. that's destroying the very thing that we're trying to build up, mm -hmm. you're saying it's okay? Right. So there's a mixture. We... We yeah, know. Yeah, right. Yeah. There are pastors who are ignorant. Yeah. yeah. And you got some pastors that are not pastors. <laughs> you know, they're in it for the same thing. For the for the uh, uh, lust of the flesh, the lust of the man, pride of life. Pride of life is a big thing there. But they, these are idolaters. So you, you get a rapper, put a big chain on, everybody want to go buy a big chain. You get a female <laughs> rapper with a certain purse, everybody want to go buy that purse. But who is getting rich? Mm -hmm. The people who own the companies, billionaires, right? You right. know, and it's not bringing anything into the uh, 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 into the. Let me just put it this way: the holy nation, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but you got people who are proclaiming holiness that are accepting things that are bringing constant destruction to the family. That's right. Now, how can you be a, be a citizen of the kingdom and be in alliance with a, a idol that you have and be I an idol? Yeah. I haven't figured it out. I, it bo things like that. It bothers me, mm -hmm. you know. And so, if it's bothering not just me but others, if you are standing for the kingdom, you mm -hmm. cannot vacillate and go back and forth. One one day you're with the Father, and mm -hmm. then the next day you're supporting things that you know that you just mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. 100% over here or 100% over there, but we can't do both. No, the script said come from come out from among them. Right. And be separate, sanctified, holy. Where the God look at my heart. No, he's looking at your lifestyle. Because <laughs> your lifestyle is a product of your thinking. Mm -hmm. Your thinking is a product of your source of thought. Come on. Uh, no, he's not. That, that stuff is out. So, you know, uh, the shaking have already begun. You know, yes. the end times are already here. Mm -hmm. And what we are seeing is a uh, exposure of the the prostitute, the whore, mm. the religious prostitute that the scripts been warning us all about all the time. Wow. Let's look at this note. We uh, we're gonna look at our note here, uh, Miss Leah twenty nine eighteen. You can read that doctrine, and we'll hit that. All right, uh, okay. Tech, get that up for us. All right, Miss Leah twenty nine and eighteen. Mm -hmm. Where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. Mm -hmm. But happy is he who keeps the law. There's an, there's another passage uh, that this study guide I know about this one will help you follow What's along. What's the name and, of that one? Uh, Kingdom Keys of Revelation. Oh yeah, I've I've heard of that. Right, and it's not. In fact, I have that in my library. Yeah, I got. I think this one, man. I got my name. So, no. Okay. Man. No, I, that I one's it. mine. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> but, you know, um, we don't want you to be, we don't want candidates of indoctrination. Mm. We don't want that. Because Scripture says, study to show yourself approved on the Elohim. Mm -hmm. What we are teaching you, want, we want you to be able to study with us. And what's missing, if you don't have this book in your library, then you won't be able to go back and check the Hebrew letter word mean. Right. I mean, don't just take it because we said it. We want you to get the book so you can study yourself and even get more revelation. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, Dr. Nate read that. But again, it's it's an English translation with things left out. Right. As a matter of fact, this translation direct you away from the main source, the source that the father's thinking mm -hmm. of uh, talking about. Right. Because many think when they hear and I thought it too. Well, without a vision. You know, we need a vision. We need a revelation. We need a prophet. We need a prophetic vision in order to set things in order. And he went he preach, went, preach, preach. And he wasn't talking about that. <laughs> he he wasn't talking about any vision. Mm -hmm. He wasn't. So to define it, Doctor Nate can read this, and uh, I could take time to show you. You know, in our, uh, uh, our digital library, but Doctor Nate, go on and read this. What it means. And what she is going to do, she is going to read, and just for time's sake, and we have went through this over and over. <clears throat> we may take you to and log us and show it to you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he said, <clears throat> you read that. All right. Now, what does this mean according to uh, the literal Hebrew meaning here? Go ahead and read that out. I had another note where I had it broke down, but I may just have to pull it up. Go ahead okay. and read that document. Okay. Well, initially we were reading 
uh, in Mishleah 29 and 18, where it says, where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. But actually this is interpreted as where there is no father with vision, the family is out of order. Right. Okay. I'm going to do this. Holy Spirit. Come, come to me for a minute. Uh, come to me and we're going to show you how we got that. Yes. From the Hebrew letter word meaning and actually looking at the literal. Let me know when you get there. Looking at the literal Hebrew language. You have it? You on me? Yeah. All right. Now notice here is 29, 18. And the first letter word you see is a bet. Yes. Some say but yet. That's the first letter you see. Mm -hmm. And we know but yet uh, means what's inside. What's inside the family. It means family. It means the covenant that the family is in agreement. And what mm -hmm. controls the inside. But notice it's setting off to itself. Yes. Out of place. Right. All right. And and so in the English, you got where their ears know. Now, the word they <laughs> actually in the Hebrew, I think know is Allah Lamed. But anyway, uh, now that's that's L. Uh, oh. Lamed Aleph, I be mean, blow. Yeah. Right. In the Hebrew. Uh, so this English word know is a wrong word. That N, I is actually the spelling for the Hebrew letter word I ain't. The seven, the uh, the number that goes with that is seventy. So we know that seventy is the number of vision, and then there is Hazan, uh, and then it go into um and talk about the people being uh uh. uh Would you like to use your arrow so they can? Oh, see okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. About. Here, here we have the bayet. Ain. That's the actual spelling for the Hebrew letter word Ain. Then Hazan, right there. Now here's a uh something we need to know about uh morphology as well as how the Hebrew language is constructed. Anytime you have an olive yud, it's also uh, putting a demand, mm -hmm. a demand or saying, because something is missing, this is what follows. The father is, is, is demanding a strong demand or expressing something that's missing. Right. And because something is missing, this is what you're going to have. That's what that olive yud, when you see them together, primarily was talking about. But now, so you see the olive here, but he's saying something is missing. And what's missing is right over here. And if you bring this bayette and put it in place, that bayette, olive bayette spell father. Right. All right. So actually what he is saying is that because there is no father with vision, mm -hmm. people or the family are out of order. There it is right there. Bayette, uh, Ain Hazan. Mm -hmm. A bad thing, Hazan, where there is no father, you can go back to the notes now, with vision, the people are out of order. Where there is no father, uh, let's go back to our notes, with vision, the family is out of order. The father is the source. Another word for father is source. Source. All human beings come from one source, Father Adam, who was created by the father so if the father is not in place who possess vision then everything is out of order and that goes back to if the foundation are destroyed what mm -hmm. can the righteous do if the found father found that source if the purpose of the father in heaven for the father source in the earth the agenda and purpose is turned in a different direction mm -hmm. then the foundation has been ran through and change the agenda. It's it's a redefinition of what the father wow, said. Wow, that's good. Yeah. So if that father, now what you were saying earlier, and we're going to get into it, we're going to mm -hmm. get into it, what you were saying earlier when we was in there about the redefining of a father. Oh man, that's that's, that's over in uh, Malachi. And we're going to, matter of fact, we don't have to go in order of our notes. We may jump down to Malachi. Uh, uh, yeah, while we here, we may have to go there. And Malachi, uh, but if we get in that, we we're gonna be there for a minute. But we wanna, yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. We don't we don't let the notes lead us. We we need them. Uh, we're gonna go down. We'll find it here. Doctor Ned is looking for it. What note that is on? And I know it's in the section. Uh, man, we got a lot here. It's it's dealing with the section dealing with fathers. Wherever that section started, dealing with father. If you if you can find it for us. Okay, there it is. What number? Number is it? twenty-two. Number twenty-two. Man, that's, that's out of 30 some slides. <laughs> well, that's how important the family is. Okay. 
I mean, let's go to number uh, 22. Uh, I'll take go to that particular one. And we're going to look at Malachi is going to give us, is they, they, they bridge together mm -hmm. about this father. If you don't have a father with vision, then you're going to have a replacement. Mm. And that's where the enemy, that summit, slowly turning and redefining the source. You remember Yeshua said in Yochanan 8, you of your father, the devil. Right. And what he was saying, your source of thought come from the source that you are connected to. Mm, mm, mm. Let's look wow. at this right here. Uh, read that, uh, Dr. Nick. Okay, in Malachi uh, 4 and 6, mm -hmm. and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children mm -hmm. and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Now, we know the fathers not strike the earth with no curse. Not the one in hell. No, but it says right here, he's going to strike it with a curse. So this that's what it mm -hmm. means. Again, we got a mistranslation. <laughs> Interpretation is wrong. And people think, well, you know, God going to curse you. He's going to do this. He gonna... But if the father curse him, it won't be nothing. Mm. See, we, we restrict who he is and his power when we say, you know, and, you know, curse means to make something bad. If he make it bad, this bro, it's bad. Right. Like when this disease, this uh this uh, lab-produced, man-made disease was mm -hmm. released out here. And now, now the father is, is trying to get our attention. He, 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 no, 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 no. That's the case. He, he would have gotten the a, flood, a long the, time ago. Yeah, the flood, the flood, did the flood get about attention? <laughs> they went right back doing what they was doing. Yeah. No, that, that's not going to do it. So let's, let's go into it again. This book, help us do it to get into it. So we know that the father didn't create the earth to curse it. Uh, the old cherub, uh, the fallen cherub, the rebellious Malachim angel in heaven with those that followed him, they, when they rebelled, they were in a cursed nature and they brought that with them on the earth. And when not the father in heaven, not Elohim, but the source father in the earth along with Master mm. Ezen Eged, when they rebel against heaven, they brought a curse in the earth. Right. That's right. So it's not the father, it's something that man is doing yes to bring some bad in the earth so this the, if we look at it uh these particular words uh the hebrew word for come that word come in the english is the hebrew word boa all right and what he is saying here is at the bottom you'll see it uh the actual rendering for this uh, particular uh, verse is this right here least i come and strike the earth with a curse that particular that whole sinner's uh, thought there, it means beware. This would have actually mean in Hebrew. Beware of what will come in and establish itself in the leader of the family and mark or identify him as being a curse. That word boa, all that come out of there, all mm -hmm. of it. Beware of what would come in. There's the vob. The vob is right in the middle of the spelling of mm -hmm. the word, but yet. Now, notice the word for our fathers in the olive, but yet is spelled in here. Yes. It's right there. All right. And then you got the letter, Hebrew letter word, aleph. That's the leader of the family, or the father in the mm -hmm. family. And then you have the, uh, what is the olive, but yet, and, and mark or identify himself. So once something come in and established, and I put a, uh, there's another spelling for this word. It's got a tab in it. It's two ways to spell this word. I looked them both up. Okay. That's where you see olive, vav, tab. That, uh, that tab means covenant or mark or identify. So the redefining of the father yes. is the replacement of the father. Mm -hmm. And when the replacement come in and rearrange things, it's supposed to be olive, but yet, but now is bet vav I left rearrange things. That's a curse because it's not what the father created. Right, right. And anything is not what the father created is a curse. So the enemy have brought change things around. Mm -hmm. Now he got a redefinition of what a father is, right. what a source is. Yes. Go ahead. I I, I hear. <laughs> I, I hear you. It's the you know because we're looking at what what's what are the replacements mm -hmm. we have fraternities. We have gangs, Sororities. we have um, music, we have celebrity, all of these Peace are- and stars, masons. Yes, all of that, those are replacements, but that is not what the father had in mind. Mm -mm. Yeah. None whatsoever. All right, so now we see this ties right to uh, Miss Leo 29 and 18. 
Yes. If you don't have a father with vision from who? The father. We have to go to Bereshit and establish that uh, three and one. He's going to come to us on this. We're going to go uh, to Bereshit 215. Bereshit 215. All right. Let's work on this. We need to get this established. Uh, so uh, the, the, the citizens of the kingdom, you can clearly see what the word was actually saying. You don't have a father with vision. All right. Things are out of order. When things are out of order, that's a curse. Mm -hmm. Then Malachi is telling us that he going to turn. He give us the answer. The father said, I'm going to turn the hearts of the father. And, and I, I wanted to go back there because actually that word. Uh, let's go. Let me go back there before we go to Genesis. Let's just slow down. We're studying. Uh, let's go back. That was Malachi uh, 4 and 1, where we were. Let's see. Okay. It's just toward 4 and the, 6. 4 and 6. Let, yes. me, let me get this. And he's going to come to me when I get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, because some translation put parents in there. Some translation put parents in there and uh, he's not talking about parents. Uh, let's go come to me now. We're going to prove out that he is actually talking about the mailman. Yes. All right. <laughs> not not the wannabe, but the the one he is talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. You, you owe me now. OK, notice the hearts of the fathers. And you see here, that's the word for father. Aleph. But yet, he didn't say parents. He right. said Aleph, but yet. NIV says parents. What version do you have? Now, this is the New King James. Okay. Now, uh, that's why I said Gotta that. Let me, let me see. Let me see where you where, where you at there. Right here. But it's still, NIV said parents, but the Hebrew word is father. Aleph, but yet. Right. All translations have to be checked. That's right. You have to go to the original language to see what the Holy Spirit, was, he wasn't talking about parents. He was talking about the mailman, the source. Mm -hmm. All right, so you see here, father right here, and then the hearts of the children to their fathers again. There it is right there, okay? Mm -hmm. So, yep. and uh, I want to show you here that, you know, we're not making nothing up. Glad you pointed that out. Right, and there's the the that Hebrew letter word we're talking about, but yet, vav, alef. You see, mm -hmm. uh, there it is right there, the word for calm, all right? And we, and that, and you see, it enter in come they here the translations are to go in to enter to come in all right what's coming in a replacement mm -hmm. a replacement okay you can you can take it off me now a replacement so it's not that the father is bringing a curse he is telling us if he don't turn the hearts of the source of all creation right those husband fathers to their children mm -hmm. and those children back to their source because the vision is in the source. The pattern is in the source. That yet means pattern. I am is vision. Let's go to Bereshit. He's going to come to me in a minute, 2.15. And Dr. Nair, you can jump in any time you get ready. Uh, 2.15, 2.15. Study to show yourself approved. Now, watch this right here. And here we are right here. Here we are right in here. Oh, let me make this bigger. We are right in here i'm making this real big you see that ministry <laughs> tech you on me now all right come to me I, i'm making this arrow big <laughs> so you can see it and we got it in notes i got it broke down and everything we, we're being led all right now the vision father with vision where is this vision coming from well you know it's coming from heaven let's prove it mm -hmm. all right and then if, if the father said, if if the fathers don't, and that's the the the, the uh, prophetic anointing of Yochanan, that's what he was doing. So actually, the prophetic anointing of Yochanan and Elihu, because Elihu, Yochanan had the anointing of Elihu, and Elihu whole thing was you can't mix, you can't straddle the fence. You got nope, it don't work like that. We got to do it the father's way. Yochanan preparing the way. Out there by himself. Folk couldn't stand and couldn't do nothing with it. <laughs> it's the same thing with anointed fathers with vision today. Yes. The world hate a citizen of the kingdom. That's right. A father, excuse me, a source who know the vision that the father have given. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Right. Because we are here. Nope, we're not doing all that. Mm -hmm. We we doing this right here this way. It's it's actually the enemy. The enemy is threatened 
by what mm -hmm. the father has already established. Mm -hmm. Because when the enemy begin to see a man of Elohim that's walking in the vision, mm -hmm. he's thinking, oh man, I got to do something about this. This right, right here, this is about to mess up my game plan. I want to destroy. Right. So we have to make sure, okay, if a person has a problem with a man of Elohim that's walking in the ways of the kingdom, then, I mean, what, what's the real problem? You right. don't have a problem with that man. You have a problem with Elohim. You have a problem with his precepts, right. his way of thinking, his mode of operation. Right. That's where the redefinition have come in. Yes. Now, a, 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 a masculine, word-orientated, anointed father-husband is not being glorified out here in the world. Mm. Who is being glorified, especially in the, in the native-born black neighborhoods in the black families a masculine black woman right is elevated above a masculine black man mm -hmm. the feminine black man is being elevated above the masculine black that's what's going on right now in the world system and many deceived kings out here are falling for it and what i mean by kings we're delegated kings in this earth now let's let's find out what what vision he's talking about, where he get it from. Where right. did the, all right? Here it is. This Hebrew word for uh, ten or work. Some translated as work. Now, Minister Check, come to me. I'm pretty sure he was had the camera on us, but come to me now, and let me know when you get there, because I'm making this arrow big again. You got me? All right. Here's his word. All right. And then Yahweh Elohim, Olive Tom, that's Yeshua, mm -hmm. the Word, took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to tend or to work and keep it. This word right here will actually open up where did the Adam, the first father, get his vision from. Mm -hmm. Now, this word here is translated as slave throughout scripture. Mm. It's a bad interpretation. Right. It's a bad interpretation. It doesn't, he wasn't talking about that. I means vision. That first letter word right there, vision. But yet, it's family or what's inside, what's controlling, and Dalet mean to have access or authority to the kingdom government. So watch this. He said Adam was to take the vision that was controlling him that he received by having Dalet access mm. to the open heaven that was there at that time. You take this vision and you shamar the earth. You that word ten a shamar means to cultivate, to pastor, to be a ruler. You see this word right here. You got that resh in it. There is a ruler and right. the intent and the purpose of the ruler delegating his intent and purpose to the ruler in the earth and glorify his name. The word shin mem spell name, which means honor, character, and reputation. Mm -hmm. Adam, the source father, was to take the vision that was controlling him yes. as a result of having access to the vision of the kingdom of heaven and take that vision and bring a reputation of who mm. the father is mm, in mm, the mm. earth, honor yes. the father creator in the earth through cultivating the earth with the culture and the laws and the government of the kingdom. That's the, fa that's the vision that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. That's the vision he's talking about when he said, where there's no father with this vision, that what he vision is a revelation of purpose. Right. Whoever vision of what the what what is the purpose of the father, mm -hmm. and that vision will honor the father and glorify his reputation yes. and who he is. See the word name being translated is is not a bad one. Just got name instead of Yahweh, they put name. Mm -hmm. Instead of authority, they put name. Instead of character and reputation and honor, they put name. So a father with vision, he, he got the pattern set. Wow. His family will see what is the purpose of the father. Mm -hmm. And that family, those children will uplift the reputation of holiness. That's good. They are a strengthened uh uh holiness. They are strengthened what's honorable. Mm -hmm. Not what's dishonorable. That's right. That's right. And the enemy knows that. He said, you know, just like if you build a house, you take a pattern, get your plans drawn. If you pervert those plans, you pervert the house. Uh huh. And you pervert the plans by bringing in another a substitute who will bring in a curse instead of a blessing. So the pattern that people are seeing now, mm -hmm. it's in a cycle of abuse and right. it's out of order right. and it's being repeated. Right. And so in order for that pattern to be broken, 
we have to go back to what the word has already told us what we need to do. We can't get around it because that's what society is trying to do. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find it. We're trying to do it this way. We're trying to do it that way. We're trying right. to, okay, well, if you do this and no, no, go back to what the word is telling us mm -hmm. already. Now, this is what the word said. We didn't, we didn't yeah. say this. Cause you had people say, well, I don't need no man. My family fine. My, my child got a career and they got a business. What profit <laughs> if they gain the whole world and lose the whole soul? Mm -hmm. What, what profit is, is see, cause Success is based on money in this capitalistic Babylonian system. <laughs> Say this, it all. This government that we live in. It's, got, people, back. it's got people head messed up. Yeah. And you think because you're a single mother and, and your boy uh, make millions of dollars a year, you're successful. The vision wow. without a father who possess vision of the father, which would promote and uplift the father honor, mm -hmm. his character, yes. his reputation, then it's not success mm. when you get through with it. Yes. And you do have women who have been put in a position where they don't have a husband father to assist in giving that young man. Mm -hmm. But there are other fathers out here for them young men to connect with and receive that vision. Then they'll be successful because mm -hmm. their lifestyle will glorify marriage which is honorable and That's the bed right. under fire they won't be out of you a rapper and you're sleeping with everybody right and, and but you raise him though mm -hmm. okay he's a celebrity but he's doing everything but you raise him though right but he never go ahead and will there. come to his defense right when he's doing wrong and you say you're going to hell yeah see that's the problem we got all these things can happen i have no problem with people out here in the world that are doing this they are doing it because they're living in darkness mm -hmm. the problem come in when you say that you born again and yeah. you are right that's it you see and that's what fathers with vision do that doesn't agree with the vision of the father in heaven that is not you can't mix the secular with the sacred mm -hmm. you can't mix unholiness with holiness mm -hmm. you can't mix idolatry with the principle that says uh, there's only one superstar. Oh, you can mix it. You just won't get what you thought you were going to get. You're going to get nothing but hell right here on earth. Right. You know, yeah. and it's not, you know, so the, and even the, um, uh, we probably just get the definition of family. We probably won't, we'll just come back in on next session and get the definition. But that's, that's, and even we got stats here that approve that the most men and women that's locked up in prison didn't have a father. Right. with vision yeah some of them had father and father had them out there selling drugs mm -hmm. and teaching them you know to go and have sex and get them a girlfriend and test her out before you marry them. that's not a father with vision that's right that, that's he's a father he's a source but he don't have the vision of the father you know so when you start with the vision of the father when you look at that then you'll find all society problems are coming from that and it, and those problems are a result of a curse because another source is in there parading himself as the mm. as a father with vision from heaven and he's wow. like okay that's good well all right we are going to uh you did good we, we did one slide maybe two <laughs> one note yeah then we got 37 <laughs> you know and we're not saying we're going to get we just teaching that's and right. we start teaching on, on family and uh the origins and the original will of the father because there's so much out of order then that requires even more to be taught. So when we come back, we're going to look at the original word for a family, and we're going to prove to you that the family is actually the Father in heaven anointed release in the earth. Mm, we're we're going to show, show you that in Scripture. All right, and we appreciate you much. Um, we slowed it down. We didn't try to go too fast. And for those that are hearing thoughts from the enemy and saying, well, I don't understand that. What they got to do with this? What mm -hmm. they got? Those are thoughts from the enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the honor. It's the glory. Now, the scripture says, I believe it's in Mr. Leo 25, that it's the glory of Elohim to hide his word. Now, the translation said matter, but their word matter is the Hebrew word, the bar, which is translated word. Right. And it's the honor of a king to search it out. To search it out. Mm -hmm. All right. And then over in 2 Timothy 2.15, we must study. We must study. To show ourselves to approved. To show yourself approved. So this material is not indoctrination. Right. This this is the living word. And then in Matthew, as we close, 13 and 10, 
to you, a selected group have been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He identified that group. Right. The, that group were scholars, yes. those who were willing to invest, those who were willing to study, those who were willing to, and the Holy Spirit only deal with people like that mm. who go search it out. So uh, for all all the name sales, gang sales, uh, what you call it, Niagara's, all that stuff, that mm. we, we, this, this is not for you. Mm. This, this is for a citizen who got Holy Spirit, the truth in them for real. And the spirit of truth is jumping up and down saying, this is what you need. That's right. That's, That's right. why we don't, we don't water nothing down or anything like that. All right. We love you much. Appreciate you much. Um, we don't do the religious thing. Well, well, you taught the message, but you didn't invite them to the cross. Well, <laughs> sir. <laughs> well, sir. Okay. That's religion. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is the person who is drawing people. Right. And when the Holy Spirit is drawing somebody, you don't have to invite them. They'll run you down and find you. <laughs> right. I mean, that's just, that's true, ain't it? Yes, that's I true. I mean, you sure didn't spend no time with music and, oh, come on, the Lord is waiting. Come on, come, come, come. He didn't do all of that. <laughs> he just showed up and said, hey, follow me. How do we get like this? Follow me. And they jumped up and said, wait a minute, uh, uh, told the prophet, you need to run the company for the next, how long it take? I'm going with this brother right here, right. and I got to learn something. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the Sheol said the people they what what I need to do to be saved. What I need mm -hmm. seeing all this religious stuff going on. That's and, right. Anyway, so if you want to become a citizen of the kingdom, the Holy Spirit is drawing you. Say yes to Him. Say yes to Him. Confess where your areas that you're wrong in, which is all of them, and change the way you think. He'll come into your heart. You'll be regenerated, receive the spirit of life that's in Yeshua, the Messiah, and that is the eternal life. That's right. And then the next thing, what a person need to do after you do that? Okay, well, if you want to um, reach out to us, there, mm -hmm. there will be the instructions on how to do that. But we definitely want to invite you to the kingdom. And then for those of you who have been watching, just remember to continue to share this teaching, what we're doing, and go back and look at the other things that we've already already taught as well. Get saved. Come to the knowledge of the truth. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom.